from bottlenecks in supply chains to the pressure to decarbonize. UK manufacturers are facing a myriad of challenges. Businesses are constantly being told to innovate to remain successful, but what does this mean? Innovation is a process that helps businesses examine their operations, services and products, and identify ways to improve them. Part of this process involves companies exploring the use of smart technologies to add value. A smart technology could be anything from robotics to reduce quality errors in the production line, to virtual reality for more efficient training and skill building. Take David, a manufacturer based in Belfast. His business has recently implemented an Internet of Things solution which allows him to gather data from his equipment in real time to monitor their efficiency and condition. He's also getting advice on how machine learning could help him better predict shocks in his supply chain and, with the help of a local 5G testbed, is trialling how a 5G connection could make these technologies even more powerful. See what smart technologies could do for your business today. Thanks for joining me. I'm Ash Watson. I'm an innovation partner at Digital Catapults. Uh, I'm working on the Smart Nano Northern Ireland project. And I'd like to introduce an opportunity to apply to and participate in a smart manufacturing accelerator uh, that we're running soon. So I want to take you through who we are in Digital Catapult, uh, what the Smart Nano NI project is, then what this, smart nano, uh, what, what this Smart Manufacturing Accelerator is and what the opportunity looks like, how to apply. Then we'll have some testimonial from past participants on uh, this program and similar programs. And then after that, we can talk a little about who the Smart Nano Northern Ireland Consortium are and why Smart Nano Northern Ireland are offering this program. Digital Catapult are the UK's foremost authority on advanced digital technologies. So we're here to accelerate adoption of advanced technologies and create new opportunities through collaboration and innovation. And we do this by delivering specialized acceleration and innovation programs aligned to industry challenges and themes. We build testbed facilities, we run pilots and proof of concepts, and we test new business models. We also facilitate R&D projects, we inform policy recommendations, and we lead research on emerging tech trends. And we work with partners across government and the public sector, startups and scale-ups, corporates and industry, investors, academia, and uh, the wider Catapult network. So in particular, we operate at this convergence of technology and application areas, uh, which includes kind of virtual environments and cyber physical systems, digital and resilient supply chains. We push uh, open uh, and interrupt interoperable digital infrastructure. And we do this using an exceptional expertise, experience and authority across these key enabling technology areas. Uh, these are future networks uh, which encompass things like new cellular network technologies such as 5G and the Internet of Things, immersive technologies, uh, think of augmented reality, virtual or mixed reality, artificial intelligence and machine learning, distributed ledger technologies and distributed systems, so think of blockchain and ledger enabled technologies or things like self-sovereign identity or certification and also quantum technologies like quantum computing uh, and other quantum technologies. Now, I and a number of my colleagues work on this Smart Nano Northern Ireland project. Digital Catapult are one member of this Smart Nano Northern Ireland consortium, and we have some particular jobs to do. Um, we're all collaborating to develop game-changing advanced prototyping and smart manufacturing methods to deliver new technologies to market. In particular, the consortium shares niche capability around nano manufacturing and uh, photonics and um, a world leading knowledge in both of those areas. This is quite a large project. It's supported to the tune of about £42 million from the UKRI's uh, Strength in Places Fund. Total project value 
including leverage funding from other sources, gets close to 64 million pounds. And this collaboration is aimed ultimately at driving self-sustaining local industry and economic growth through research and innovation. Now, with the help of GEMEX, NWRC and the Smart Nano Consortium members, um, we are delivering this accelerator program, this smart manufacturing focused accelerator program. So the key details of the program are, first of all, it's free to apply and participate. And what we're doing here is helping manufacturers get to grips with the art of the possible and gain some literacy in these smart technologies, being photonics and nanotechnology, future networks and 5G, uh, artificial intelligence, immersive technologies, digital twins and sustainability. And we do that while helping those companies see where and how they might apply to their own operations, challenges and opportunities through what we call innovation practice. So applications are now open to all companies with a UK registration working in or adjacent to the UK manufacturing sector. The main body of the program itself lasts eight weeks from mid October through to the end of November. And participants will do a number of useful things during the program, but the main output at the end of all of this is what we call a technical development plan. And uh, that is a kind of um, feasibility tested uh, solution proposal to their own uh, real challenges. Um, and it will have been reviewed and refined with our help. So if we look at what the offering is here, we have training and learning resources, bookable one-to-one -one time with our subject matter experts, training in the innovation tools that we use, a focus on your industry challenge and potential solutions to those challenges. We hold mentoring and open office hours from your facilitators and technologists. We peer review your proposals and there are plenty of networking and collaboration opportunities that spring up over the course of the program as well. So the overview and format of the program in a little more detail. There are two things happening in parallel across the program. So we have learning about technologies and their applications, and then we have innovation practice. So in terms of the technologies, you'll be learning about smart manufacturing technologies across nanotech, nanotechnology and photonics, future networks, industrial IoT and 5G, artificial intelligence, immersive technologies, and applications and outcomes like sustainability and digital twins. And these tech sessions and this tech content will be delivered in multiple ways. In the in-person sessions, We'll have concise manufacturing focused tech 101 talks and then demos and exhibits detailing key concepts and use cases in the manufacturing sector. Online, there are going to be more detailed master classes in the weeks in between uh, these in-person sessions. And for these online sessions, you can invite additional colleagues. Um, and uh, then we'll also provide each group with their own Trello boards filled with info and links to further reading about technology areas and innovation practice. And this is very much use and learn as needed resource and you can dive as deep down uh, the rabbit holes we've provided you with as you wish. Now, simultaneously and in parallel, uh, we on the innovation practice team will be introducing you to and arming you with tools and resources to help you dig down into your own operations and challenges, come up with candidate solutions to those challenges and consult with us and the, technologi uh, the technologists to sense check those solutions. And this is going to happen across four phases um, of varying length. The first of those is a discovery phase where we kind of map the um, the, the current state of some of your operations. Uh, challenge framing, where we make sure we're focusing on a problem that makes sense to focus on. Ideation, uh, where we come up with ideas and stress test them a little. And then a write-up period to synopsize and eventually present a challenge solution proposal. And these happen in energetic workshops, which we are running again every second week from mid-October. Uh, so we'll get you started and then according to your needs and how you decide to work, 
you uh, continue to, to work and bring in your colleagues. And we can chat to you and other colleagues remotely in between these Wednesday sessions. We'll keep appointments or office hours open that you can book with us. You'll have access to online tools and resources to continue in between the workshops at a pace and a depth um, that is set by you according to your needs. Let's have a little look at what that looks like week for week. So the call for this program is now open. Uh, the QR codes and the links there will take you to a registration of interest. If you register your interest, you'll be emailed an application form. It doesn't take very long at all to fill in. It's pretty simple. So uh, that is open until midnight, the 24th of September. And we're selecting a cohort based really on the applicant's interests in the program and what we think they'll get out of it. And we have an onboarding phase to make sure everyone has the uh, tools and uh, that they need and are ready to get started. And then we'll get into the sessions, which will run at NWRC, that's Northwestern Regional College, uh, at the Springtown campus in Derry. Uh, we start on the 18th of October. We go through the phases of discovery and mapping the current state, challenge framing, evaluating and selecting the challenges to focus on, ideating solutions and putting those proposals through their paces with the help of our technologists and other contributors. Um, and there'll be a few really out useful outputs along the way, but as I've said, what we get out of the end is this technical development plan, a solution proposal, uh, which you can then synopsize and present at our peers and one another at uh, the end of the program, um, the 29th of November. So there's a large team uh, that have designed and will be delivering this program uh, and you'll have the opportunity to interact with a lot of us over the course of the program. So we have uh, the innovation practice team consisting of myself, Cara McManaman, Brendan Lowry and Tom Connody. And we have Killian McPollin, a photonics technologist, Mark Boyle, our head of technology and digital twins, Abhishek Nagar, um, our 5G technologist, Danar Mahmood, uh, our on-site 5G technologist at NWRC, Hassan Mahmood, who's a lead technologist in AI and ML, Emin Ogur, an IoT architect, uh, Hema Ramamurthy, a data and AI lead, and Nigel McAlpine, an immersive and uh, develop lab development lead. Now I'll take a moment to introduce the Smart Nano Northern Ireland Consortium. The consortium is led by Seagate Technologies and consists, along with a Digital Catapult, of the company's analytics engines, who are a data analytics and machine learning company. Yellow, who specialize in the design and manufacture of burn-in and life test equipment for optoelectronic and other el electronic devices. Serdan, a leading provider of innovative medical device solutions that are primary primarily used in pathology imaging to enhance and accelerate diagnosis. Causeway Sensors, who have patented a chip platform that gives researchers insights into drug binding interactions and other biological sensing applications. Then we have uh, the academic institutions who are contributing research capacity and expertise in photonics and nanotechnology, smart manufacturing and automation, and providing bases of operation and facilities to support uh, this this project and those institutions are Queen's University Belfast, Ulster University and Northwest Regional College. So you might be wondering why is a nanotechnology and photo photonics focused project uh, focusing on smart manufacturing and offering a, a smart manufacturing accelerator. So at Digital Catapult we have two key interdependent jobs to do as part of this project. We run a broader acceleration program that will engage many companies in different ways and in different programs over the course of this project. And we deploy and maintain digital infrastructure to support the prototyping of solutions for smart manufacturing, primarily in the form of a 5G testbed deployed at Northwest Regional College and Seagate. So, and it's through these that we'll work to upskill the sector across organizations of all sizes so that companies are in a position to actually exploit uh, smart manufacturing technologies. So we'll need to develop and deploy new capabilities in industry. We'll need to leverage future networks to do so and integrate 
these photonics and nanotechnologies enabled technologies in broader industry, but also bring new prototyping and manufacturing approaches to companies that already operate in the nanotechnology and photonics space. So an upskilled sector has a much better shot at adopting smart technologies in a meaningful and useful and lasting way. And this is going to rely on, but also contribute to the expansion of a smart manufacturing and nanotechnology and photonics ecosystem that places Northern Ireland as a center of excellence. And that's all pushing towards these end goals, uh, which I would summarize as being jobs, revenue and new business and new capabilities and a, an overdue step up in the adoption of smart technologies across the manufacturing sector in uh, Northern Ireland, but also the UK. And you might be thinking, what does photonics have to do with my manufacturing business? So in the manufacturing industry, industrial photonics, as we'll call it, slots into and complements all of the main technology areas of what you would call industry 4.0 or smart manufacturing. So many of the most relevant applications of photonics in this sector are going to be on the sensing and data collection end of Internet of Things. They are woven into data transmission technologies. If you think of things like fiber optics and various radio communications uh, technologies. And then also in subtractive and additive manufacturing processes themselves. So if a business is to actually exploit many of these technologies, the other pieces of this smart manufacturing or industry 4.0 puzzle need to be in place to allow them to get from sensorizing and sensing useful things in the real world through sending that data where it needs to go, generating insights, uh, predictions and effects from that data and representing that data in a way that's useful to employees, users and decision makers. So that takes us from photonics and other sensors through IoT and data transmission to analysis, data science and machine learning, and then maybe abstraction and representation in extended reality. Um, and then really we're building towards the ability to realize th useful things like digital twins, um, accelerate our sustainability goals, etc. So thanks very much for your time. Please register your interest through these links or these QR codes uh, and you'll be issued a link to the application form itself. The application form is brief, it's very straightforward, it won't take you very long to fill it out, uh, and it doesn't ask particularly difficult questions. Um, please reach out to me directly with any inquiries so that my name is Ash Watson, uh, my email address is there, it's ash.watson at digicatapult.org.uk. Again, ash.watson at digicatapult.org.uk. Thank you for watching.